Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the 4000 LO level bishop sacrifice game between Stockfish and Magnus Carlsen, today I sacrificed my bishop in the opening against him, can I win the game? You're braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think, so let's go, I started the game with d4 we have d5, any normal player here would play knight f3 or c4, but no one can play Stockfish Gambit Bishop Sacrifice on h6. Don't try this gambit at your home because you may break your bones yourself, Magnus takes the bishop, e3 and he played bishop f5, activating the bishop first, c4 with the idea of use the bishop on this diagonal, rook c1 to get access into the file. Queen b3 to pressure the center and b pawn, e6 pawn takes pawn takes d5, we have queen b3 to pressure the d and b pawn, you can play b6 but he goes for a danger level with knight c6, because if you dare to take the pawn then bishop b4 check will come, bishop d7 then rook b8, to say the b pawn hello, if you down material then you shouldn't take a risk to attack, I played a3 to defend my position by occupying the square from any pieces entry because I have some weaknesses in the queen side. Queen d6 and queen takes b7 still not available for you because of this, which is why I focused on my pieces development, 50 IQ people can think, move up the bishop and be settle in the short side, let me show you the variation, if bishop e7 happen, then I will capture the center pawn, you may think, so what? I castled in kingside and I am happy. But that's not a good choice because you lost your center pawn, there may be some possibility of occupying the entire center in future, so, in this position Magnus decided to castle in queenside, supporting the pawn with rook, queen a4 to pressure the pawn and the knight, I am threatening to push the pawn 2 and knight b5, to target the queen and the pawn, which is why he played a6 to protect that square and for that reason, I played b4 with the idea of b5, king b8. That's not a good choice because best move was to play knight a7 to protect the b5 square with pawn, so I played b5, and he casually said, where is the attack stockfish? Don't question me fool Magnus, you don't know anything about me, knight takes b5 to target the queen, so queen e6, I played knight f3 but I think best was to play rook c1 to use the file, knight g4 to target this pawn structure, we have rook c1 rook e8, you may think rook takes knight is the best move here, but not always rook sacrifices are the best move, if I sacrifice my rook then it will be a brilliant move and if you try to sacrifice your rook then it will be a blunder move. That's the difference between a chess god and a chess cockroach. If you play a 200 LO move rook g1 then Magnus will sacrifice his knight on e3, f captured e3 queen takes e3 check with the rook, king d1 bishop g4, to target the bishop and expose the king position, if you play a another 200 LO move rook h1. Try to get rid from the queen, then after doing some pieces exchanges, you will lose the rook on h1 again. A fearful man's death transpires a hundredfold in the theater of his mind, as imagined horrors multiply, eclipsing the realm of reason, until reality itself succumbs to the multitude of his dread. So back to the position, we have rook c3 to protect the pawn from any knight attack on this file, bishop e4, absolute blunder move by blunder Magnus, maybe his idea is to play f5 but the best was to play queen h6 to target the pawn with 1 2 3 pieces, so bishop e2 to block the file, queen h6 knight g5, sacrificing the another piece, if you dare to take the knight, let me show you the variation, then rook takes c6 will come, pawn takes queen check king and it will be a checkmate, and chess friends. If you want to become like me and defeat Magnus Carlsen then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, back to the position, I am threatening to take the pawn with a fork, so you have to something, if you think any normal move for example queen g6, then knight takes pawn will come anyway because after takes, white can't take the knight and play some queen checks to checkmate the king because it will not be a checkmate, we will capture the knight first, to deliver checkmate. If your opponent is a dumb human and plays h6 then sacrifice the rook, because after takes, it will be a checkmate on a7, bishop is covering on there, game will be over. So back to the position, you have to keep the queen on this rank to protect the knight, and the knights are covering the very important center squares, so what should Magnus do now? He give me my material back on e3, 
takes and you still cannot take the knight because you have to guard the knight from rook attack, so bishop b3 by him, to win up the knight on g5, queen takes knight, rook c3 and Magnus should play rook e3, to protect the knight, but he is out of mind and he plays mistake move queen takes pawn, to target the rook, but he doesn't know that rooks are just sacrificing materials, queen takes check, king here, you cannot take the rook because of this checkmate sequence. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.